here we've got this Panasonic pedestal fan in our room in my paternal relative's house. Now, what I mean by our room is that this room is actually my that's our bedroom, that's our actual bedroom until because my grandfather who unfortunately is an who passed away in 2003 and, and, and is hopefully in, in a better place right now was like, wanted and was expecting most of us most of us like our aunt like my aunt and whatnot to be sleeping in this house which is why he made this house pretty big almost like almost like a little mansion but not really and there are like 12 17 or something like that rooms up here oh, that's and, and I think some of those rooms might include the bathrooms but there are about 15 or 16 rooms up here and this is meant to be our room right here so anyways from what I've seen this room none of these bedrooms were originally meant to have fans since they have air conditioners but later on they just started from what I see from what I know they started getting fans so they don't need these air conditioners as much as and therefore save on money and help protect the environment. So anyways just gonna play around this unit. Hopefully you can kinda read it. This is a Philippine version of the of Panasonic of of this fan by the way. It's not it's not how to say it. It's 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 a Philippine version of basically. From what I think, Panasonic has, has factories everywhere, and KDK slash Panasonic has family fa factories in, in a lot of places. In Hong Kong, the metal bladed ones we get in Hong Kong, I'm not sure exactly where they're made, but I think, actually, from what I've seen, they're made in Malaysia. I'm assuming Indonesia has their own branch as well, and their own factory. So yeah, they've got factories everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it to low for you guys. I'm gonna try to make a quicker video this time. The knob is the knob is is kind of broken. So just a while ago, actually, got I. I Sort of glue gun, put some glue gun here to try and make it easier to grip. Yeah. Here, slow. Pills are blowing. I'm not gonna make the breath, it's just to make them like, at a certain position. I don't know. Before I put the glue gun, I just we just normally left it on low. Whenever it change, change it, it'd be a pain and have to like get like tissue and it'd be really hard. I wish I just wish they had it, they didn't make those knobs knobs that are those knobs very flimsy. I wish they made them better. They could have even made them and and metal. That would that would have been even better. So we'll be moving. Hi. Was we'll moving again. That's moving. That's moving. This fan spent some time in the kitchen, I think, but they kind of just move it out and put like a. But like a smaller fan would in the kitchen because the kitchen's got like a ceiling fan it already, so yeah. From 
from what I know, my grandmother put like a an old high block fan in there now, with like a 12 inch fan. But it's really no point having a big oscillating fan like this because this is already a ceiling fan. So I mean, it would do something, but since this is already a ceiling fan, that I'm like, I figured it would put this in other places where it, it would be needed more. Anyways, I'm gonna go off and try to fan down. That buzz you hear is, you might have heard it before, is the fluorescent lights outside. And that whooshing sound is the, is the hunter ceiling fan outside. <coughs> Oscillate. Low. By the way, it is model F40LYB. Low, slowly moving, medium, and high. I've really been trying to make my videos shorter, but it's hard to do it when you want to squeeze so much in. Rating. I I thought that I just thought I I should keep doing that actually because I should keep doing a spin down while the fan is all is oscillating because it might have a slightly shorter spin down because the motor is hooked up to more gears and stuff like that instead of just directly turning the blades. Although from what I know, some really new fans, some really new fancy DC powered ones, I think they have a separate motor for the oscillation but anyways finally I'm, I'm gonna show you the start of Shanghai and that's one more thing it's somehow easier to go it's, it's, it's easy to turn this knob turn this little stick clockwise I don't know why and that's because I'm here alone I'm gonna show you the bottom of it. Pretty dusty. And there's a little plug over there. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay. Sorry about this being eight minutes, but yeah. Thanks for watching.